using equal groups in multiplication. What are equal groups? Equal groups have the same number of objects in each group. Hot Wheels were invented in 1968. Kevin has Hot Wheel cars in his collection. Each car has four wheels. How many wheels are there in all? Here are the cars that Kevin has in his collection. What we can do to find out this answer is that we can draw circles in groups to represent the four tires of each car. Here are the cars one more time. Six total cars. And here I am drawing circles to represent the tires in, on each car. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. As you can see, there are six groups. There are also four counters in each of circles in each group. We, can, we use the word each when the items of all the groups are equal or if they're exactly the same. So there are six groups with four wheels in each group. If we add four plus four plus four, plus 4, plus 4, plus 4, we would get, yes, 24. So there are 24 wheels in all. Our multiplication equation would be 6 times 4 equals 24. This is Sarah. She was collecting pennies from around the house. She found 5 pennies in her jeans pocket. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. She kept looking. She then found five pennies under her couch cushion. One, two, three, four, five. She looked some more and she looked in her drawer and she found five more pennies. One, two, three, four, five. So here are the five pennies. Five plus five plus five. So let's count by five. So if you know how to count by five, count with me. Five. 10, 15, or 5 plus 5 plus 5 equals 15. There are three groups of 5 pennies. The total amount of pennies equals 15. So our multiplication equation is going to be 3 times 5 is 15. So let's check your understanding to make sure you know what to do. I'm separating these tires by groups. The step, first step is to count the number of groups, and then you're going to count the amount in each group, and then count the total amount. So how many groups are there? That's right, the answer is four. Good job. And how many are in each group? That's right, two. And how many in all? You've got it! Eight! So, our multiplication equation is 4 times 2 equals 8. Very good. Okay, so now we're making more counters and more groups. Remember, you have to count the amount of groups, count the amount in each group, and then how many in all. So, we're making groups right here. Your job is to count the amount of groups. What did you say? How many groups are there? That's right. It's a total of four groups. Well, how many are in each group? You've got it. It's a total of three in each group. How many are in all? Nicely done. It's a total of 12. So, our multiplication equation 
is 3 times 4 equals 12. Let's try another one. Remember, count the amount of groups, count the amount in each group, and then how many in all. How many groups do you see? Excellent! Five groups! And how many are in each group? Six. Well done. Did you count how many are in all? Excellent. If you counted correctly, you should get 30. Well done. Here are another set of groups. How many groups do you see? done eight and how many in all that's right it's a total of 24 our multiplication equation for this problem would be since it's three groups three times eight equals 24 so I got it I'll be sure to count the amount of groups then I will count the amount in each group. I will add up all of the items to get my total. Then create a multiplication equation based on the amount of groups. How many are in each group and the total amount. Great job. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you on the next video.